gonna are we gonna clap and then <laughs> say something about cunts? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, that's staying in. <laughs> are we gonna clap and there's something about cunts? <laughs> Well, because we did a good intro before this. Mm. This is take number two, because some rude bastard <laughs> interrupted. Uh, you're listening to Nerd Bible... You're, oh, fuck. You're welcome to Nerd Bible Podcast episode 120 with me, George, and Connor. <laughs> Homelander, yeah. Yeah, Homelander. Yeah. Can't be able to do it. Basically, Solid. we did like a really funny intro. The camera's on. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, I don't no. know if that's straight or not. Um, yeah, we did, like, we was proper into the intro. We was, to be fair, we was only, like, two minutes in. No. But then Matt decided to ring me, so then everything just, like, it stopped recording the phone, so then we've had to start that again, so we've just started the audio again. <laughs> so, which is why we got that magical fucking, I want that, <laughs> I want what? that on the T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> are we, we going to clap and say something about cunts? I'm putting that on there. That is merch. When small right in the corner, like in the scene. No, fucking in the big. Scene. I want it there. The outline, like the silhouette of your head, and then we're gonna clap and say A something. Speech bubble. Yeah. We're gonna clap and say something about cunts. Brilliant. <laughs> Special edition. I fucking. Do you know what? Oh, if no. it was more marketable, I would fucking have that as the episode name. Are we gonna clap and say something? About, we clap and say something. Maybe that should be the motto. We clap and say stuff about cunts. <laughs> oh, you do it anyway. <laughs> and the clap is referred to like the how we sync up because we don't have a clap board yet. Because yeah, so um, we have to like we've just been poor, yeah. poor, poor, poor. Yeah, yeah, so we do we do the countdown sync and then it's easier to sync up the audio oh. and um, stuff. But we're we just going to use um, the, like, that's an amazing lead in. Like, that's going to be the first. <laughs> wow. So if we ever meet Carl Urban, we have to... <laughs> said, can you clap and say something about cunts? We'll give him one of them T-shirts. Get him to wear it. Sign With it. his lovely chiselled features. This fucking camera. Ah, uh, cunts. Yeah, we get a clap and say something about this cunt. Cunt of a camera. God, we've said it so many times. We should... Yeah, let's let's cool down on the C-bomb. <laughs> the C-bomb, that, yeah. that kind of came out of nowhere. Hi. Um, sorry if this is your first episode, or indeed this isn't, because... The we, first and possibly we last. We talk about a lot of stuff that some people are interested, some people are not. But hey, let's have fun until we all explode. Because, you know, that's happening. The planet's on fire, so we're trying to have fun. Yeah. But retrain, yeah, really. reboot, and... Refix, fuck off restart. Rishi Cernak. Yeah. God, man. No politics. Should we do one without politics? Yeah, please. Should we say one thing and then move on? Go fuck on, the government. Yeah. Literally, fuck the government. Fuck Volt. Yeah. Fuck Volt. Volt is the government. <laughs> fuck. Fuck Volt. <laughs> fuck people who are trying to let people die because the economy's important. But anyway. War economy. Um, War economy. We. Um, oh dear. I'm still crying. Have... I'm crying. Basically, yeah. The Mandalorian comes out next week. Woo! So in the next episode, because obviously those you know we record on a Wednesday, on a comes Wednesday? out on a Sunday. Because um, we're, we're very busy live. Yeah, so yeah, the show st- um, season two of the Mandalorian starts on a Friday. So if you're wondering why next week uh, we won't be talking about Mandalorian season two, it's because um, we it won't have happen. seen it then. It happened. So we'll talk. It we'll be locked behind so paywalls. We're gonna talk about season one next week, All next and week, then. Yeah. Sure. In November, we'll be we'll be talking about that, and then we'll Weekly. try and squeeze in some kind of shitty Christmas special. But in honour of that, and because or the of, holiday um, special, just recreate the holiday special. I mean, Lego are doing it, so let's recreate the holiday. Oh special. man, I can't wait for that Lego. <laughs> it's gonna be Happy better. Life Day. Yeah, yeah. That's ca- is the porn granddad Chewbacca canon then? Because he's watching hologram porn. Like he's watching a woman dance and then whispering, and then he's really sort of taken aback when when Chewie's son walks in the room. He's like, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> Are they actually uh, recreating it, or is it a sequel to it, or what is or it? Or is it just that <laughs> they've redubbed it? The whole thing, yeah. Is it just the whole thing, or is it just the same audio, Do you reckon the same they've, sequences, just in Lego? They've form? done it, but what this time, it? what is it? Like everyone's almost invested in it. Yeah, exactly. Everyone cares. Well, I assume it would be a sequel because mm. a lot of the Lego stuff is set in the generation that the movies take place. Like they've done yeah, prequel yeah, bit yeah, stuff yeah. like that, and I believe the new all the new they've done new stuff for the uh, Age of Resistance or whatever they fucking yeah, said yeah, on that yeah, big a map. Resistance of the Age of Time. Yeah, whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah. Time Lord Victorious. This is actually Time, Time Lord, Lord Victorious. Victor- <laughs> it's a crossover. I knew it. Tom Baker, man. I knew it. Fucking weasels his way in it, but we can't get Jody in it. 
No. At least in a comic or a book. Yeah. Give us I, know, I know Big Finish, you have to wait however amount of time. Uh, until the license. Yeah, it's something the, silly like five years after they it stops airing. Because Peter Capaldi's now just been allowed into the world of Big Finish. I can't. It's like three or four years, or five years even, after his reign ended. Exactly. I can't wait for some Peter Capaldi stuff because he's, he said he's been very vocal in cons like ages ago. Like, as soon as I'm allowed to do Big Finish, I'm there. Yeah. I'm he'd like, be a good doctor. Give he was right. a good doctor. He just had uh, fucking. It'd be nice to see someone write a not fucking. Not when I saw season nine. No, 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 it wasn't his fault. I'd like to see someone write him a fucking decent script and let him do some acting. Yeah. That'd be nice. Give us the return to Sontarans and explain why they're not relevant and make them relevant. Big finish. Nick Briggs, we know you listen to this, definitely. Please write Defo. a Peter Cavaldi story with Sontarans. Yeah, and then. Use that to catapult their return into season. We'll 14. email this to him, but we'll leave out the bit where we say the C bomb at the beginning. Did someone say audiobook? <laughs> is this the part where we clap and talk about audiobooks? <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Audible. <laughs> <It's not laughs> Audible. I could imagine if we had that kind of money. One day, you know, people say that it's like it takes over like 300 episodes for you to feel like you know what you're doing. Yeah, and we're what? We're not Fuck even making that many. <laughs> Do you remember the first year of this? Do you remember the first 52? Do you block this out when you finish doing it? I I hide. Do you go home and just whack your head against the wall and then fall asleep? Why, why, (laughs) why? Wake up the next day and be like, Mum, what did I do yesterday? What did I do? No. Nothing. And I literally go home and like watch the next thing. I'm just like, I'm a non-stop watcher. That's the one thing. Since doing this, I literally go home and I think, right, where the next week's topic's going to be? Because it's not like we write it down and it's not like I can look on the R professional office wall and go, right, next week's topic's going to be this and then go... When people buy t-shirts, we can buy a professional office wall. Just the wall. Nothing else. Just the wall? Yeah. No notice board, no anything. No, like... No, just the whole, dudes. like, just a the, just the big concrete slab. Just a slab. We'll get a um, water cooler. Yeah, we, everyone needs a bit of H2O. Hey, guys. Everyone needs a bit of H2O, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's just, like, sometimes... Like, do you get sometimes, like, with this thing, it's, like, it's quick, and you feel like no time has passed between episodes. It and then sometimes it feels like a fucking age. A lifetime. Yeah. Mm. No, I know, when, you, when you went... And I wasn't there for a week. That was like the longest period of time. It was only, what, about 14 days. But in yeah. reality, it felt like a month's worth of stuff. It was a holiday happened. for you, technically, if we were as a grill company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, paid holiday. Un- unpaid. Un- unpaid holiday. No. But it, that, One day that, that gap that felt, point. for me, like a month's worth of content and news had come by. Because everything fucking happened. Because we, mm. obviously we pre-recorded, so like so there was nothing else new. So we were like, let's, let's it. fill it and then... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, even when we had that week where I was meant to go away, mm. so we did technically have a week off because like, we filmed two and then left it because that week would have been another like dry thing. Week or whatever. For, yeah, it would have been. So it was like we were going to space that out and then pre-record again for the week after. So there was a week where we did, weren't there because we are like, well, we'll just leave it because we can't go away now because Wales is on lockdown and stuff like that. No. no. I don't know. We'll do that again for good like For Christmas, like we said, we'll do all we'll thingy it and then have like two weeks off over Christmas and come back the first Wednesday of January and, and then we'll come back and be like right new year new start we've got loads to talk about and then the planet mm. will explode again and it will it probably will again is this the, way, the most the we've ever sp- spoken about ourselves I know right we've probably got egos haven't we <laughs> we've probably got egos that's what happens darling that's what happens 120 like, episodes in I can't, you know what you're doing I can't imagine like fucking because like stuff like the um, like the RT podcast that's like 700 odd episodes it's like like how how do you keep finding things the, the yeah. th- not just things at the moment because this is just general so like they've got sort of a broader spirit because we're just like this we is are, the shit these are the conversations field, yeah. we have we are in our field on a regular yeah. basis mm. so it's like mm. we've I feel like we've had we've like stumbled our way and evolve accidentally yeah fine accidentally like yeah. Matt being in it and then not so then it started coming out on time helped and yeah. yeah and then we've gone like through different things like upgraded like have our own mics it's nice as well then, that's a pretty nice feeling to have then to camera the then to full screen and then to mm. then to 8k then to beam straight into your brain yeah i yeah. do i do need to i know we've said like loads of stuff but like this Again, year we yeah. had so much this year's gone out the pan this year's gone out the pan we but, could have like, been so much more further ahead than we wanted to be like, because we were like, we're going to make this, we're going to make this. Like, we're going to think... write these things. Like, I haven't written properly in fucking. I don't think this year I've written properly. But I genuinely think it, it helps. I think November was the last go... time I wrote a script. 
what you say like that what have we been doing no it, it also this show for it, other stuff it that we generally wanted, helps it would help if we were both were not full time as well if we had like that little leeway of like less hours if we got paid enough of this to go part time at work then yeah like 100% yeah just that like, an extra day off or something so then we can actually like don't know don't know that's where my mind goes yeah. I know we've got today and then that's it for another six days until we do it again but if there was another yeah, bit just of time for, yeah, in between... Especially for the convenience of, like, you can't really do much anyway because, like, everything being closed. So it's like... Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, we're in Tier 2, so we've got to just be careful. No, we're not in Tier 2. Essex are. We're not. We'll probably we're not, we'll we're end far up off. By, yeah, the fucking, by the end of the week. Oh, exactly. That'll be the news change next week. Be like, yeah, yeah, we can't do anything. Yeah. Well, if we get to a point where, like, then you have a computer as well. So then, like, even if we did get locked down, then we could do it over Zoom. Mm. so then we're still on it together and then it would just be you sending me the files stuff yeah and then I could just do it like that we'll get to that point where we've all got our own stuff yeah it's just ideally I'd, yeah it's just I need to purchase just a, something just a pain in the ass. well hopefully mm. we can then have group like the group stuff and improve and shit yeah, I don't yeah, know go onwards and upwards from fucking yeah. why are we talking about ourselves we never fucking oh, do right, yeah. um, should we talk yeah. about some stuff so, yeah because so, TV because of the Mandalorian so we thought we'd go over some um our favourite TV shows. Related stuff, yeah? Yeah. Just of, all, of all time. Yeah, just our favourite TV series. That that we we'll, 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 we'll won't mention mm. Doctor Who. I might. <laughs> just because, yeah. See, I've been contracted to talk about Doctor Who. That's the truth. I'm coming out, I, I hate it. We're talking a lot about Spider-Man, so I'm just it. trying to fucking change it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, just cause Batman. I, just because I keep fucking doing it. Well, mm. in funny enough, so we got, um, we'll do some news bits and then we'll do some TV shit. Why not? Yeah, sure. Um, sure, 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 sure so, sure. yeah, cool, 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 cool. Um, Batman stuff. Um, the Batman. There's been uh, sightings of people in costume of other Justice League characters on set. And the Batman oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. filming in Liverpool. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. Been uh, reported this. Not necessarily what we think, but there's been uh, Superman, Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman. And The Flash. The Flash. And there's the Flash symbol on a poster, um, I believe, in the alleyway behind the theatre, I think. Okay. Like, it's sort of tattered where, like, then the bit of the poster that sort of survives is the circle with the lightning bolt for it. So that's obviously just an Easter egg, surely? That's just an Easter egg, probably. You think it's just an Easter egg, but with the costumes, it's like, is it a tease of it being oh, a yeah. multiverse thing? Because this is essentially, so, like, I know so, it's not official, mm, but like, we're saying, mm, like, it's an Elseworlds thing. Yeah, yeah. And the main DCU is the main sort of yeah. world. yeah. No. So what, the Flash has been on set, has he? All of them have been on set. No, but they've been extra sort of dressed up like it, whether it's Extra-right, like sort yeah. of a vigilante thing or sort yeah. of a cosplay shit. Mm-hmm. Like we don't know. If anything, it might be a very brief intro where it'd be like you see the other heroes getting like, off one by one, maybe. Yeah, like this is like, like this ain't your daddy's DCEU. Yeah. This is a different. This is very much setting it up as a different universe. Yeah, and just confirming the fact that you know Batman can't turn, no, no Flash or whoever can't say turn up to save him because. He's Gotham's, on his own. Gotham's in its darkest period and all they've got is the Dark Knight. It might be that kind of message. All mm. the other heroes are gone. It could be. It could be as simple as that. It could be, it could be nothing. But we if the know. Flash logo just is... taking the piss if out the, of us. If the Flash is just on a poster, then I'd say that's just an Easter egg. That's just a nod and go, ah! I think it's it's a different... So it's like a mm. poster for something that I think at the theatre, but then where it's tattered, there's a bit of it. So like there's... I think there's various lightning bolts on it, but then there's one that's because of the way the poster has decayed right sure. it's circle lightning bolt but that's sort of a piece that's sort of ripped off but stayed stuck on the wall yeah yeah it just might I be a nerd. it might be a nerd. it might just it could be nothing or it could be everything we don't know it could be the nerds going oh i know that and then that'd be it it could just be matt reese holding a big middle finger up to everyone yeah huh. just like you think flash is in this movie go fuck yourself map it yeah yeah no. uh, the muppets aren't in it no um yeah <laughs> But with uh, Warner Brothers, um, Warner Brothers yeah. Space Jam 2, oh. apparently, yeah. will be part of sort of a Warner Brothers multiverse. Oh, brilliant. What, with Scoob? No. Not that part of that universe, no? So, Le- oh. LeBron gets trapped in the... Um, Spider-Verse. The Warner Brothers multiverse, essentially. Okay. Um, well, and are they even trying to do a multiverse? Or did he, is I this, don't know. Is this new? So, basically, like, within... Warner Brothers, there is like so. There's the Looney Tunes universe, yeah, yeah, and it sure, exists sure, sure. in tandem with other Warner Brothers properties, mm. apparently. Supposedly. And then LeBron's got to reassemble the the Looney Tunes team to take on um, digital versions of um, NBA and WNBA All Stars. Yeah, right. And right, right, right. Um, right. apparently, we'll cross over with um, P- 
Pennywise and Joker. <laughs> because Is it Joaquin Phoenix Joker? <laughs> apparently in those universes because they are Warner Brothers and <laughs> properties. That, um, I don't know, that's terrifying. It's terrifying to think that Pennywise and LeBron James are going to be in the same film. <laughs> what? What rating that's is it going to be? PG? <laughs> 2020 keeps getting straight, but maybe not necessarily <laughs> Pennywise himself, but the whole world of it. That's... Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. Um, All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm slightly confounded and puzzled mm. by that. What do you get when you shoot a three-pointer from across the court? You get what you fucking deserve, <laughs> Maury. <laughs> oh, Joker's no. the cheerleader That's what it is He's doing the dance No and then you have Pennywise Doing his little <laughs> Yeah They're the cheerleader There you go yeah, the cheerleaders, He yeah. sold it He's got the pom-poms in his Takes the pom-poms Off of his um, Costume like, yeah. Turns them into real ones And then eats your brain <laughs> What if Pennywise Eats oh, LeBron James oh, oh, oh. Is it canon <laughs> oh. Did it happen In this Mul- universe That's multiverse LeBron James Oh my god so, Jesus That's an image it is an image. Um, so that's still 2021 release date. If, uh, yeah, mm. that's not changed yet. Yeah. Whether it will, we don't we know. We can't even predict no more. Yeah. Well, we no. we predicted so well that we broke the universe and everything just stopped coming out. And that's why Warner Brothers had decided to do a fucking multiverse. Uh, Stranger, Things, <sighs> Stranger Things 4 is apparently filming in... are going to start filming in December or yeah. resume. Because January? I thought I read January, but if it's late December, January and great. Because yeah, they're sort of, they've been sort of if and about in pre-production and stuff like mm, that, haven't they? Mm, and then there's mm. been various there's things. Apparently, there's like full swing of it, and then we'll get a look at it maybe at some point. Which uh, nice. Hopefully early, like hopefully early, February and then March. get like a June release. Yeah, That'd be please. nice. August, September, or in time for Halloween 2021. Oh yeah, at the latest. Any more than that? I think that's I'll ideal. Let's do it. All right. October 2021. Halloween. As long as you know everyone's okay and everything's yeah, followed safely. If the world isn't shitter than it is, then yeah. They've been filming Fantastic Bre- Fantastic Beasts three, and Eddie Redmayne said it's so surreal filming like a feature film like that yeah. during the middle of pandemic because obviously it must be. It really they're must be. a year behind ideally where they wanted to be, mm. aren't they? Because they would mm. have been 2016, 2018, yeah. 2020. It's now twenty one, looking like twenty one. It's twenty one for now. Yeah, for now. Yeah, because obviously yeah. Like, they they could they're going to be freaking for like two years. They could make it. Schedule. Yeah, they could make it because they have started filming. But you know, mm. it's a thing mm. of okay. So he's definitely in it. Good. I still maintain the fact that why... Has Johnny Depp been spotted on set? Oh, fuck knows. Um, nice. But he... Like, these characters... Like, I don't... Like, I love Harry Potter. I'm not going to oh. try and dive too much into this because we're trying mm. to get to a whole full feature thing. But why will we introduce these characters when they are surplus to the overall plot of the whole thing? Because Fantastic Beasts and where to find them on their, on its own is a really nice, fun little thing of... Oh, you remember Harry Potter. Let's go on a yeah. nice... Original thing of novel. the um, of the series. Jesus, my nose is itchy. But then it's like, oh no, this story is actually about Dumbledore and Grindelwald. It's like, then Dang. why yeah. are you making us follow these characters where you leave them in a place where you're going to have to force them to get back together just to make the audience One want pure, to see yeah. it? Yeah, exactly. To relate to what you're saying. But for the sake of continuity, they can't. Yeah, like you say, they got a, they they've left them in the position where they have to do it for the sake of the universe. Yeah, it's well, not that's why we want to see it. That's why Dumbledore recruits Newt, not because he trusts mm. him. It's because. You were in the first one. Exactly, and you've got to be contractually obliged to come over here. I didn't like, like, I didn't really like the second one. Like, oh, probably, mainly because it didn't have that and in it. It was underwhelming, yeah. It was underwhelming. Should have had Fantastic Beasts and, and the Crimes of Grindelwald. Not Fantastic Beasts, colon. But it wasn't colon, even about crimes. the beasts anymore. Well, that's the thing. They were, it wasn't about the beasts. So, but whereas, like, you get a nice sort of menagerie of animals, it's like, oh, this is quite nice and expanding on the mythos and mythology of the Harry that Potter film, universe. The second film felt so grand that it was Harry Potter 8. The way it was I felt like, like, I, I like, like, God, I felt like is... I'd missed the film. I felt like we were yeah. in the third one. It's just like, it oh, and Credence is so a Dumbledore. It was like... big all of a sudden and then it sort of ended with nothing and somewhat of a cliffhanger. I'm no, longer, be... I'm no longer Colin Farrell, but I am Johnny Depp and I will train you in yeah. this weird mountaintop ski lodge <laughs> Very thing from dodgy. The Shining. Yeah, exactly. Where is freaking Jack Nicholson? Is he going to come out of retirement and is he going to be... Oh, work oh. and no play makes Harry play Quidditch. <laughs> oh, God. There's a better one in there. Someone Ooh. think of it. I don't know. Fantastic Beast Free, The Shining of... Fantastic Grindel. Beast Free. The Shining of Dumbledore. Doctor Sleep No More and Ooh. Face the Raven. I don't know. They're two Doctor episodes. Shit. Um, Doctor Sleep, yeah. I rewatched um Gentleman the other day because yes. it's on Prime. It is now, isn't I, it? I, I loved it. It's good, isn't it? It's much better the second time because I knew second. what I was. Ge- 
I knew what I was getting into. Second? You've only seen it twice? Yeah. Genuinely, it must be... Because well, I've got it on 4K as well. I must have seen it about six or seven times. 4K? I want it on 4K now. Like, cause nice just 4K, because it yeah. was it was marketed in a way for it to be like Kingsman. Yeah. Which is why it was sort of like... It's a bit underwhelming, but then when you look on the face of it, going into it, knowing what it is, it's like, this is really enjoyable. This is a fun couple of hours that just fly by. And I really, really look forward by. to the TV show. Yeah, with Richie behind it, producing it, directing it, right? And he's literally on board with it. Yeah, and they're... All back? As far as I'm aware, yeah. That'd be nice to see. 21? I, 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 I don't, don't think he hasn't even got a release date. I yet, don't think McConaughey's going to be in it a hell of a lot. No. Cause, no. But then he did do True Detective, so it's like... First season, yeah. Um, that was a show, yeah. remember that? That happened. I haven't even seen it. Fuck knows. Um, <laughs> Have you seen Ewan McGregor in Fargo? Yes, that is nice. It's Have you seen normal. the film? Because I didn't know the... Fargo was a film. The series is adapted from the film by the Coen brothers. I've seen, I feel like I've seen bits of the film. I didn't know that either. I don't this. know to the extent of it. Because I used to get confused. Like I confused Fargo and Argo. You know, yes. the, yeah, yeah, totally. the Ben yeah, Affleck sure, film. It was sure. like, why is everyone fucking raving about this? It's weird. I still haven't both seen of them. Argo. I still haven't seen Argo. I haven't seen both of them. Argo's I, good. I, I, I haven't like... watched it since... It was, on, it was on Netflix a couple of years after it came out, which was, I want to say, 2014, 2015. Yeah. Something like that, I don't know. Right. Uh, the Town. I like The Town. Out of the three Ben Affleck movies that he's directed, because he did the Argo, didn't he? Mm-hmm. The Town was good. I liked The Town. I haven't seen The Gone, Town. Gone Baby Gone, I didn't... I liked it, but I didn't finish it. I liked what I saw of it, but I didn't finish it. I don't know what Gone Baby Gone is. Uh, he's at, his brother, Casey Affleck... Oh, Casey from yeah. um, Can't think Manchester by the Sea. Yeah, 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 that guy, yes. He's in, he's in other stuff, but like that's the main thing. That was like He won loads yeah. of awards for that. He did, he did. That was a thing. Um, he did, So let's get the Marvel stuff out of the way. Um, Thor is beginning filming yeah, uh, main yeah, principal photography so in January. I know Natalie Portman's read, down yeah. there. In Australia, she's landed in Australia for pre-production and the beginning of photo- principal photography. So maybe, good. but Chris Hemsworth in a recent interview said that he starts on that in January. Right. And it's going to be nice that um, to do something new with this character again. Like It's going to be another big change. He said the only problem is, like, obviously with Ragnarok sort of changing the game and rejuvenating the character, then the audience are How kind of expecting gonna, it. Yeah, How do you top it? Follow it, yeah. But he says he's really looking forward to doing something different with the character when he gets down there in January. So when, whether they're doing Natalie Portman stuff First? now or doing costume fittings, because mm. like, they're staying true to the um, storyline from the comics where Jane's battling cancer in her normal life and then being Thor. In the other. In, you know, by day... This by and by night, this four and by night four, yeah. Yeah, so they're gonna. Um, okay. It'd be nice to see, obviously, um, expanded on completing the journey. So we set up and sort of Freeze. went through in Endgame. It's like now, where does the like like in the end of Endgame, like for the first time in a thousand years, I don't have a I don't have a path. Yeah. But I do have a ride though. Yes. Yeah. Well, we don't lose it, airbag. Um, they're working, you know, they have the working titles that are nothing like the actual title to sort of, you know, what throw is the code press. Named? What is it called? Uh, the code name is The Big Salad, which people are teasing. Um, the sets Big Salad. up um, Thor's diet and his new regime. Sure. I want to see Fat Thor, uh, Fat Thor at least at the beginning. Sure. Yeah. And Let with... him be with the Guardians. Let them get dumped off and then he'll be like, oh, I've like got a rocky mon- <laughs> Like a Rocky montage. Yeah, exactly. Just like, like Rocky Four, like running through the snow. Yeah, all blasting through the galaxies and the ship going, oh, oh I enjoy this, jolly old chum. Yeah. <laughs> and then let them have an argument Anyone and like, else? kick out the ship and he'd be like, oh, come back, my friends. And he's like, oh. Let us be, tis I, the mighty Thor. And then he gets his phone out and goes, Korg, I need some Wi-Fi. <laughs> Me, boys. <laughs> Um, I'm assuming looking, Korg's going to be in it. And all yeah, of course so he is. If Tyker's doing it, he's going to be involved back. in mm. some way. Um, his uh, his brother Luke Hemsworth has um, talked uh, recently about wanting to return to the MCU. Obviously, he played his own brother mm. as part of Thor in the mm. um, theatre scene from Thor Ragnarok, where yes, Loki was on a big yes. Yes. Um, spectacle of the it's the tragedy of Loki of Asgard, and while disguised as Odin. 
Uh, put on this big play. Matt Damon as Loki. Matt Damon's like, uh, 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 build a statue of me with my helmet on with the big bendy horns. It's a fucking underrated line in that movie. Um, Sam Neill playing Odin. Yeah, it was weird. Chris Hemsworth yeah. as Thor. Matt Damon as Loki. Um, there's no one else, really. There's, I've, like, there's people playing like the Sith. Warriors 3 and Lady yeah. Sif, but I don't know if they're credited or named or told no. to us. I don't no, know. no, just people. But he's suggested that he'd he'd like just like um what's the guy who plays um homelander anthony star yeah anthony just star. like anthony star he has an interest in uh who does loki wolverine anthony star's wolverine no he oh. yeah so he was like interested in rumored like he would like like to play him like in the mcu okay. so does luke hemsworth We just yeah, get the really hands of, any of But it. then who does Liam play? <laughs> it's true, isn't it? <laughs> who does Liam play? Um, also, Chris wants to be Wolverine. No, Luke Liam, comes of. Luke. Well, I said there's three of them. Look, Chris, Luke and Liam. Chris, Luke and Liam, yeah. I thought it was Liam's two. Hunger Games. Yeah, Chris Liam's is Hunger obviously game. Thor. And Luke, who the played... The successful one. <laughs> yeah, Luke, who was Luke. Thor in Ragnarok. I thought that was Liam. Oh, okay. I honestly thought there was two brothers, Luke, Chris, and Liam. I don't know. Luke was an alter ego of Liam. I no, L- Luke is the one. Luke them. is the one who plays Thor in the theatre. Yeah, yeah, so. right, right. Okay. So he's said about. So I say he's the lesser known one. Liam, like yeah, the middle. He's the one, oldest, like. I think. I think oh, it's. Okay. Right. I think it's Luke, Chris, Liam, Liam. Right. or it might be Chris, Luke, Liam. Whatever way it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one okay. of those. One of those many ways, <laughs> which you can tell how old an Australian is, is oh, by asking okay. their parents. Oh, but as Wolverine, yeah, yeah, so, yeah rumored or whatever. He's yeah, I've yeah. yeah. I mean, w- as long as we like we've said, leave Wolverine out of it for a bit because um, oh, absolutely, yeah, let you're never going to top Hugh Jackman. You let oh. people forget it and then you bring it back, yeah, and get people to be happy and don't do it because it's we got to have the X Men with we've got to have Wolverine in it. Yeah, there's so many. X-Men. Get a movie one or two without Wolverine get, and then get bring a it. movie with fucking Ice Man. Fucking, yeah, exactly. Um, Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride. Better, fucking Jubilee. Jubilee, yes. Dazzler. Um, yeah, Nightcrawler. Morph. I want to see Morph on the big screen. Multiple Man. Multiple Man. Um, um, uh, a better Juggernaut. Yeah. A better well, ju- no, well, technically, juggernaut. technically, Juggernaut in the MCU is, is Ryan Reynolds. Ryan He's Deadpool Reynolds. 2. Ryan Reynolds did Juggernaut in Deadpool. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, he did the voice. He did the, oh, right, of course he did. Okay, He's in a okay, work, okay. but it's, like, it's distorted, but it's him. So oh, technically, okay. Ryan Reynolds is Juggernaut in the MCU if they just carry that over. Mm. Mm, I don't know who would do. Oh, dear. Imagine. Um, That's messy. Spider Man <laughs> Trez, we've talked about it a lot. Um, it started filming, apparently, we'll get a decent look at it in December. Yeah, that's been um, guaranteed, yeah. We know all this rumour stuff about multiverses and shit like that. Um, apparently, though, um, so this is only one thing to add to it this week, mm-hmm. is sure. that um, if people who search for the cast list on Google I've on their told Android. This as well, yeah, they've been ad- that There's yeah. cast members that don't have photos, so we don't know if it's just, it like, can be edited by uh, people. Like yeah. anyone. Like Wikipedia. But. Uh, yeah, like but apparently, video. so the full cast list obviously includes Tom Holland, uh, Zendaya, Jacob Bantalon, but also uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, uh, Bendy Cumberbatch, we know, mm. so rumours of Mordo, yeah. Tilda Swinton. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, Rachel good. McAdams. Okay. As Dr. There's... Love Interest. Yeah, Dr. Toby <laughs> Maguire, Andrew Garfield. Right. right. And Ryan Reynolds. Ooh, as the guy from Free Guy. As oh, Deadpool. As Deadpool. <laughs> Not as Deadpool. The guy from Free Guy. Um, as, w- as Wade Wilson. Ooh, as Deadpool, though. This is obviously ooh. nothing. Yeah, no, no, of course. 100%. I'm not trying to get myself carried away. It's probably like away. 10% based on fact. Because obviously ooh. we've not had... We've had um, Representative Sony saying... Any such rumours of that are not confirmed at this time. Exactly. Which doesn't mean no. It no. just means at the moment... We can't comment. Yeah. At the moment, we're not saying anything, really. Yeah, Exactly. Would you like, would they be brave enough to fucking throw Deadpool in a Spider Man movie? Even if he's literally like it'd be a scene with Doctor Strange is going, Look, Peter, there's multiverse troubles and he literally g- g- does these things with his hands and goes through portal and then you have Deadpool go, Hey guys oh, he says some hey shit. Hey guys, you like, me out yet? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's got a silly line like that and then he fucks off. Like, it'd be a cameo like that. It's Deadpool at Disneyland going, What a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it'd be like, oh, Or shit. like they open a port when he's just on the toilet going, Hey, can I get some privacy here? Exactly. Something re- along those lines, sure. I happily accept that. That'd I'd be fun. accept that. 
and then he can come into Spider-Man 3 with no reasons. Like Aunt May and Spider-Man, the end of Homecoming, where he, you know, she goes, what the fuck? It'd be Deadpool, like, standing behind Peter going, hey, Nathan Drake, or something. And, De- and Spider-Man looks at him and goes, hmm? But I know you. <laughs> and that's how he's in Spider-Man 3. Fucking hold off it, Billy Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's some silly line. No, that'd be... Oh, well. I don't want to get carried away, Google. Don't let me down, Google. But, you know, I've got ideas now. That's 99% sure it's fake. But, yeah. Know, but it's nice to dream. That little... Oh, that little glimmer. You've heard what you've always had. Hope. Hope. Um, Black Panther 2. Mm. Um, Letitia Wright has been uh, speaking recently about the sequel that was obviously already in the making and confirmed before Cherry Boson's sad passing. I don't think they got as far as pre-production. It was, no, what, a February was really, 2022 release date? Yeah, very early. Yeah, very, um, very early. She said at the minute that's not on her mind. Like, it's no. the last thing from They're still mourning coming to terms with it. And then, obviously, at some point, they'll have, have to, to, like, have to then refocus on it. Like, for them, mm. obviously, the execs and high-ups have already had or are having these conversations and yeah, moving things around and deciding what to do. And said, like, um, you know, still mourning Chad and... For me, it's strange to think about doing it without him, mm, mm. which is um, right. It's really, so. it's really sad. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, so. unfortunately rightfully but so. It is yeah. sad to think that you know she's getting going to be obviously bombarded with questions like, "Is Shuri going to be the new Black Panther?" It's like, no, just let her sort of decide. Just let all of them just try and find some peace at the minute and find a place where they can when, move on. And when they're appropriately ready, then let them. They all figure it out. There's um, a rumour that they may go down the Carrie Fisher route, um, a la Rogue One and uh, Last Jedi slash Rise of Skywalker and have a CGI Chadwick Boseman so that they can sort of have a scene of closure. Yeah. And sort of bring his character to a close. As opposed to just, oh yeah, he, he, he died on the battlefield of protecting Wakanda. Yeah. Yeah. He can see it. Maybe I'm Maybe. thinking if you're going to go the route of, well... He's di- like he's passed on. That you have him in the pit when Shuri takes the herb and is buried under the sand, and like they wake up mm. in the the um, what is it they call it? Like the you know the place where he sees his death. Like where sees, they have a name for I'm, it. So but it's basically like the tree where then the panthers jump down and then they become people. I'm like where he sees his dad. Like if you could have a scene of that with Chadwick and just like you know to pass on the torch. Yeah, mm. like that would be really touching, and you know you wouldn't then have to disrespectfully sort of CGI him in the whole film just because like look we got look he's in it he's in it we put him in it because you know we sliced some dialogue the the the, the D-J-A-L-I-A the the Jala the the Jala the Jala the Jala the Jala if we're butchering that the mystical Wakandan plane that exists between life and death yeah so have him in that maybe if you're going to do a tasteful thing Mm. that'd be nice um, should we talk TV? Sure. Because you don't really do that a lot. What, what about it? Yeah. What um, about it? Dexter was announced that he's returning. Yeah. After it, it, it had eight seasons um, between yeah, okay. 2013 it ended, I want to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been like seven years or something. It's more than five years since it's been off the air. I know that. It was, um, as many people have said, a shit ending the first time. And the showrunner said maybe this is a chance at a sort of a second ending. It's a revival slash... Rebooted? Was it was it like Game of Thrones? Did you have a really good write up and then they botched the ending? It didn't botch the ending, but it's like you could have done so much more with it. Mm. Mm. Have you not watched Dexter? It no. was on Netflix, but I think now it's sort of on um, Sky and stuff like that. But it is really, I would say seasons one to four are perfection. Okay, that's... they're amazing, uh, okay. I, and you really enjoy the stages after that. But then sure. it's just like that last season's a bit sort of like... 2006 to 2013. There you go. Mm. It was really good. And he made it while he also had cancer and recovered from it. That's... Well, in real life, the, the yeah. acts... Well, Michael the... C. Hall. Oh. He's back. The showrunner's back. Um, it's a, maybe a revival in the style of when 24 came back. Yeah. For like a couple other seasons and like X-Files and stuff like that. So hopefully... They're doing it because they've got a story, not just a thing of, just let's bring this back because, yeah. you know, it's easy money and we can... Cash grabs. Yeah. 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 Tell, tell a nice story and if they can... Appease the fans. Not fix the ending, but sort of maybe have a nice sort of way to round it off. Like El Camino did for Break Bad-ish? Or... Yeah. Yeah, in a way? Yeah. Because Breaking Bad ended, as far as I'm aware, but then the El Camino thing... El Camino's, yeah, after. A nice... El Camino is sort of like a nice sort of epilogue. I say, could you do without it though? 
Oh, you don't. Yeah, it doesn't for me add a lot. To a you. lot, unless you are sort of only watch it if you're a diehard thing or like you love Breaking Bad. Like you couldn't get enough of it. You keep watching it over and over again. Then watch El Camino. Like if that universe like sucks you in as much as like some other fandoms do, like mm. your Star mm. Wars, is your Doctor Who, your stuff like that. You're going to watch it. The nature. It's, it's absolutely fantastically made. It's not what you want it to be from a Breaking Bad movie. Sure. Because it's not just a long episode of Breaking Bad. It is sort of a, this is where we left them. How do you sort of tie up those ends with what happened in the last episode? Mm. But it is good. And on the subject of Dexter, we thought we would talk about our... uh, It's raining quite a lot. Um, We talk about um, some of our favourite TV series of... um, Just ever. Of all time. (laughs) Of ever. And if they had... Good endings. Well, yeah. Um, obviously, we're not talking about anything that's currently still on. No, sure, okay, sure. So as much as we'd love to talk about The Boys. Yeah, we've done that enough anyway, but yeah, The Boys, for sure. The Boys is great. I want to watch The Boys on Prime, please. I want to watch, based on the YouTuber recommendations, Anthony Starr's um, Banshee, is it he's in? Banshee? That's... Someone at work spoke to me about that years ago. It's meant to be really good. I've never sort Literally, of fully immersed in it. I've watched. I've heard a about it recently. Episodes. I've heard about it recently. But yeah, Banshee. I just I kind of want to look at it. It's meant to be mental. Um, so, give us a series that you've watched beginning to end that you think is or good all the way through. Either good all the way through or ends well when you've. It's you know mm-hmm. might have a couple of patch seasons, but you love it. Get the elephant out of the room. Just Game of Thrones for the most part. Let's talk about ending, GMT. Sure, yeah, whatever. Game of Thrones. Because we spoke yeah. about my fucking hair needs. I need a haircut. I just haven't done it this month. But I can do it to Friday. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a problem with being on camera. You look like shit. You look like shite. Um, Game of Thrones. Shite. When for you does when it stop it... being good? Say, so, I think it dipped in series five for me. First of all, hmm. five was just kind of. Mm, like, the last episode was good. The battle with the White Walkers in the snow, when you actually see the White King, the Night King, yeah. is it? That was a great episode. Yeah. Whatever episode it was where they had the cool fight, that was wicked. Oh, the finale, uh, East by the sea. Um, East Watch by the Sea. Not that East one was wicked. Fucking that episode was amazing. Well, then everyone dies and he just goes... Exactly, that was... And John's like, well, that was pointless. <laughs> <laughs> that was pointless. Um, I, like, I love the sh- Like, I've read... Some of the books. Right. They are good. Matt still has my copy of the first one, so I'm going to beat him up. I've, I've got the first one. Um, I bought the first it's, book. It's hard because that, there is so much in those books, and obviously the the problem with adapting something from a book to a visual medium anything, is you yeah. can't get everything in. You've got time. You have mm. to get the essentials for the plot and fan favourite stuff that you know is going to, like, set pieces that you're like we need to have this 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 and this these beats we can adapt other characters by changing story beats we can get it into something else I think you're right when it started to catch up slash overtake the books because for a long time they were behind the books yeah and then it was like and now where do we go from here because it's sort of like yeah they're freed of like they don't have to follow these certain things or sort of like hit the beats in the Mm. seasons but it's also like well we have to kind of plot out our own story and it proved that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss can adapt stuff, but they can't write stuff. I mean, because David Benioff did write um, X Men Origins Wolverine, <laughs> was one of the right one of the two oh, three writers oh, in that. Poor sod. Oh dear. Yeah. But no. It was always for me. It was always rumored like ten seasons, ten episodes each, hundred episodes. Ended. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Perfect. Yeah. That I'm a, I'm a stickler for OCD. Like I like sort of everything. To have, like when they cut episodes back. So when they're like, we're doing season seven, seven episodes, and season eight, six, it's like, why? why? Yeah, totally why. It's not a good sign at all. Because I know it's like, yeah, it's just going like, to be battles, but also it's like, you need those quieter episodes that are more driving the plot, because then otherwise it's like, battle, 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 oh, and bang, bang, loads bang, of exposition yeah. to say like where, where it is now. Like the main thing is like, Aria managing to travel in the same episode from one end of the world to the, other, the other, essentially. It's, it's like, no... You could have got an episode but of that. But when you've yeah. had five, six years of Danny trying to cross the fucking sea. Like, exactly, yeah. No, it don't mesh You're at all. messing up the stuff. I know, like, it's like they were rushed towards the ending because they wanted to do Star Wars because they were signed on for that trilogy, which they then didn't end up doing because then they dropped out and did the Netflix one, which I don't even know if they're doing that now because they've right. been in high demand. I don't know why. 
because they just fucking botched it because it was like no because they offered them like 10 episode like, seasons for those last two it's like we'll give you those it's like no we can do it in, no, we'll we'll do it in 13 yeah, yeah idiots like can you I don't fucking think they you can they didn't they clearly didn't no I love I think I love seasons 1 to 6 yeah I think there is 6 is definitely the last good season there's up and downs throughout all of them I think mm. obviously you get with season 3 is when you're hitting peak yeah. Like Red Wedding, and then into season four is probably when the most people were in the show. Yeah, totally. Three season and five and stuff like there is sort of like obviously with John and that, but then with like you get Battle of the Bastards and that the next season, like season six, and then you get sort of like oh we're really sort of culminating towards something, and then season seven is like all things we'd waited so long to see. It was like we were brushed over. Like Finally, the thing that yeah. fucks me off the most: why the fuck did they bring Gendry back? Exactly, and make like make him so important of like you know focusing on like um, Robert Baratheon's Bastard Bastard son. son. But that didn't even come into play. For it not to end up ending sort of like it started with um, Gendry ruling King's Landing and then Jon being the Warden Warden of the North. North. I know, that should have been the ending. Yeah, should have been. Like, Jon ends up where he started, back in the the other side of the fucking wall. Like, where was the growth? No. Daenerys sort of just, like, I know it's like the years of torment and that was the sort of then ending towards the Mad King sort thing. of spectrum of her Targaryen heritage but it was like that it all seemed like there's tacked on, tacked it's on. like it feels like we've missed two or three episodes where she's sort of having the sort of the psychological change and sort of the like the getting range, more yeah. yeah the inner rage yeah it totally just happened for the sake of it happening it just, it, there's it, great characters in it though, no. Tyrion was my favourite I'm so glad Bron. he didn't die and Bronn and Tyrion like didn't want the fucking hand of the king no he didn't want anything he like, wanted to be fucking let me die <laughs> Let me die. Yeah. And Bran ends up on the Iron Throne, which is like, okay. He, he said like two or three episodes before, like, he don't want the kingdom. We even said in whatever season it was, he's like, oh, I don't want the kingdom. I don't want so the, seven the throne. And then in that final scene, he's like, whatever line he said, he basically, it is mine by right. And it's like, you fucking little prick. Like, it's what? Not, you didn't fucking want change. it for. It's a character change. And there's a season that he's not fucking in. <laughs> exactly. He's not even in. Is it like season Six five? Of, yeah, yeah. Well, one of them. He's Because that's when he has short hair, innit? Yeah, six because he starts. That's when, like, when he, he comes back walk. with six, mm. he comes back like doing the visions of Ned and that when he's young. And he can walk. Yeah. And it's like he's never been a bastard, even though that was season seven. I know, but it's like mm. he's the heir to the Iron Throne. And even that wasn't important because he didn't fucking go for it. No, no, total. Uh... Like I always thought that if John ended up on, like, John would end up on the throne reluctantly, like yeah. to stop Daenerys from having it or to stop Cersei, he would be like, "Well, it's got to be me." Yeah, like, totally. I thought. He would Cersei would him. kill Daenerys and then it'd be like, right, I wasn't gonna I was gonna just help her push and claim to the throne. But because I have a strong a, one because I'm a descendant, yeah. yeah. But in her name, yeah. I'll like I will now do it do for it her and also yeah. for it because they can't fucking have it. No. It's a, and it's a shame that a lot of the people that were in that who were fantastic actors Amazing seem acting. to be good at acting in anything else. They really don't, no. It's just I like I like Amelia Clark as a person. She's very nice. She seems like she very actually lovely. she seems like she actually very lovely. No, she she's one of that old. She's, she's also like, I think, part of that old guild of actors where it's sort of like it is just the work. It's not just sort of like their life. Yeah, mm. it's like this is like I do what I enjoy doing. I'm very sort of like picking on this kind of thing. Nuance like there's performance like she's okay, but it's like when she, the way she is, it's sort of like I don't know if you're being written badly now or you were being written badly then it's almost like she's sort mm, of the mm, skill she's mm. learned there she's it's almost like she's starting again like she doesn't know how to act and she's gonna like trying to find her sort of style again outside of fantasy because terminated genesis is appalling but i think a lot of that's down to the script yeah totally it's not necessarily her but something no. like last christmas it's like you can see what she's going for but i don't think there's enough behind it yeah 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 and kit yeah. harrington runs away from a volcano on a horse in pompeii like yeah I don't know. Spooks was, a, Spooks was a nothing thing, but then it was a continuation of the series, but Yeah, that's not. what I mean. It was a weird movie, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. don't know. He, and he's in that very odd Silent Hill sequel. Like, amazing game yeah. series, but it, I was, I've read mediocre things about that sequel of a film. And, but he's meant to be one of the weirder characters in it. But we're going to get him but in Eternals. We are getting him in Eternals. Stop. But well, the question is, will it be Jon Snow in space? That's what I don't want. I, want. I don't want it to be Jon Snow in space. I think Kit Harrington is a decent enough actor. He just yeah, needs he just needs more. He needs more to branch I, out. Yeah, from. I don't think he wants to be sort of protagonist for a while. Yeah, like, you don't yeah, want to be typecast like as Jon Snow. Yeah, do it's it. 
do it a twist, make him the villain, just swerve it and make him the villain. Because Black Knight, I think as a comic character, is a hero for the most part. But then, I don't know, they could flip it the script. It can be more really. anti-hero and vigilante. Like, they they could flip the script, mm. yeah. Um, yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Was... Solid till the end. And then it shits itself. Um, another show for you? Or do you want me to... You one do in? one, yeah, because I've... Yeah. Have I've, you seen... Yeah, go on, yeah. Bits of something, probably. <laughs> Like we've, we've spoken briefly about Dexter, so I would urge you to watch that because that is amazing. Sons of Anarchy. Right, I only, yeah, a few episodes of that, but I did very, very much enjoy what I watched of One it. One of my favourite shows of all time. Charlie Hunnam, yeah. Okay. Because when I started, when I started Netflix, I, like, I got it, I watched all of Chuck. Right. And then I did Dexter, and the third one was Sons of Anarchy. Right. Okay. All three of them shows are like, this is, I get why people binge shows because they're fucking amazing. At that point, there was only four, five, five seasons on there. Of Anarchy. Obviously, it ended with seven. So I remember like watching season six, then got loaded on there, and seven watched in real time as much as I could. Like, that show is fucking amazing. Like, okay. it ends, it ends well. Right. Like, it might not be the ending you want, but I think it ends yeah. decently. There is a journey. I know. Like, characters die along the way. You get a complete journey for everyone. Like, Charlie Hunnam as Jax is great, even though he, I don't know what accent he's doing. Okay, Ron Perlman sure. is amazing. Right. Um, Katie Seagal as um, Jax's mum, who I forget the name of. She's great. All the characters, they feel written. They feel alive. They feel... They feel like, like people. They feel like, well, yeah, like well-rounded people. It's a, like, it's a sad ending... Yeah. Like when you get there, it's like it gets you. But I like a show that's like you are upset about it because you're so invested in these characters. A hundred percent. No, that's that's just good writing. If you, if it's even about what you, there's, it's their villainous characters you don't like, but you were still sad over them. Yeah. Because of how good they they, they were in the show or whatever. And I know that it's continued with Mayans MC, which is essential. They said it was like the show, but from the Mayans' perspective. So like sort of the Myers is the rival gang, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So they were like just doing the season again, but like from what's happening in there, which like was an interesting thing. But I've never sort of one hundred percent gone it. Like, and I've liked the couple of episodes I've seen of season one because it's all on iPlayer. Right. For some reason. Um, okay. But yeah, I, I like that world. I like sort of where it begins, where it ends. You get a complete thing out of it, and it's sort of like yeah. Um, I like the sort of little journey we went on here. Uh, nothing more to say about it for me because I um, one of my favourite shows of all time. I'd say, it's about a doubt, yeah, yeah it's I'd say that. probably like Dexter, Sons of Anarchy, Chuck. They're like sort of because of how early on I watched it in regards to streaming stuff. It was like for me, they're well made and they are. They're free. I do want to watch that. I just haven't got around to them. TV, I'd like. I fall one behind on film. TV, I need to really. Chuck's gone Deep off dive. of Prime though. That's the only thing. That was all five seasons were on Prime. I did rewatch them, and then I was going to rewatch them again. But I'll just wait or get the box set because they're really good. Sons Blue of Anarchy, Army. fucking love it. It's still on Netflix, isn't it? That's been on oh, Netflix yeah, for the longest yeah. time. De- Dexter and Chuck are the like they've come off since, but okay. yeah, man, watch it, enjoy it, drink it in. All three of those, I'm gonna yeah, I will watch those at some point. And not disappointing. That's the main That's thing I say about Sons thing. of Anarchy. Uh, there's fluctuating quality in Chuck, because I've spoken about that one here a lot, just because it got getting cancelled and brought back because of fan petitions. And then Subway sponsoring them allowed them to have the money to make it, but then they had to obviously keep featuring Subway. So that's basically where they had their lunch breaks in the show, was at the Subway. Okay, be interesting. Which is, you know, it's funny, it sort of fit the show. It was it was comic comical geeky stuff, you know. Comical geeky stuff. You know. A nerdy guy gets government secrets in his head and uses it to fight a crime. What more do you want? Biker gang for justice. I know you've seen a couple of episodes. Mm. Oh, well, but I'll go where the I whole... It. Yeah. I think from episode three of Sons of Anarchy, I was like, right, this is this is great. Like, I get... The, like, I don't like shows that are a slow burner, that are like, oh, when, you know when people say, like, oh, watch like, when you get to like series two or three... It's like, yeah, no, it's not that. You it doesn't need, grab so you me need in to series be, one. You need to be gripped straight away. Yeah. yeah. You need to be gripped straight away. And that's the problem with streaming. It's like, if you don't get it in the first couple of episodes, it's like, nope, next one. But it is. I got it. I enjoyed the first two, but like by episode three, it was like, okay, like this is sort of what the show is. And then obviously it evolved from that over seven seasons and is fan fucking fantastic. 
what, 23 something seasons? Or 23 episodes, rather, not 23 seasons. Like full length. Yeah, something like that. I don't remember. Yeah. I haven't watched it, rewatched it in ages. I might start Sons of Anarchy again. Oh, well, God, you've convinced me. They're all 13. Oh, season 4, 14. They're all 13 episodes each. Okay. Fine. You'll have to get back on that train, good sir. Have you got another one? One that I'm sort of doing. Oh, we've mentioned it in the odd few weeks, uh, Peaky Blinders, about Thomas Shelby. Like mm-hmm. it, it's one that I wasn't gripped from the start, going the opposite. Oh, no, 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 I definitely wasn't. Yeah, no, I, it was one that I was watching for the sake of being told to watch it, kind of. I Yeah, because I don't like when someone's like... Like a show, it, you know, yeah. like when a show just sort of explodes and everyone's talking about it for some reason, even though they were never a fan of it before. Mm. But like four seasons in, like, oh my god, it's the best mm. TV show ever! I what can't are wait you for more doing? about it. Or when yeah. everyone on Facebook shares a thing about it returning, even though it's dated six years ago and they just haven't read it, and it's like, why? Fucking read that was date. Peaky Blinders for the longest time for me, but that's why I sort of avoided it for so long. But then sort of watching it, it's like you do there's something get why there. mm. there's something people there. like it and enjoy it. I don't think it's nearly God as tier. perfect as people think it it's is. It's not God tier, no, certainly not, no. But it is high and it is very good quality, very well made. That's, that's what I like about it. It's very well made, feels very unique, feels kind of real because it is loosely based on the Peaky, oh, the Peaky Blinder gang mm. back in Birmingham, back in the, those times anyway. Mm. The Shelbys as they are. Um, but yeah, I certainly wasn't like, oh, wow, straight away. Like, uh, maybe... Season two got me, and in see this last season I've watched season three, but I'm still watching it at the moment. Yeah, I need to start series four, which series six was disrupted by this. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's two more seasons. I've like twelve episodes left to go because they were all six yeah, each. They are. They're enjoyable. I just they think are. anything with the BBC sort of runs the risk of overhype. Th- and th- yeah, not overhype, just like they keep making it because they have nothing yeah. else to flagship. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Which it goes like in and out of phases. Like you fucking, you had Mrs. Brown's Boys, you had Sherlock. You had they do. Do, like, you do. Ultra, like Sherlock, because of Doctor Who's waning sort of popularity into the Capaldi and later Matt Smith era, it was like, well, you've got to find something else. And then when that fails, then you've got to find something else. That's the BBC's tactic, totally. They hop from their properties, if you like, and mm. milk it and then yeah. go back. Like, we'll keep making this mm. because, thing, like, it makes us money, but it's also like do it for the story. Exactly. I just hope that it ends when it should end. It doesn't. Like when the welcome. like when the creator says he wants it to end on the the World War Two sirens. Like I hope he does live up if he wants to and still end it on that. That would be nice. Yeah. Like, at least like you could have still have then come back to it like years later. Mm. Both like in terms of the timeline and in terms of real life. Like you could always come back to it. Like that's not an issue, but it's all. I wouldn't be surprised when the series ends. We'll get like a like a Maybe. serial killer documentary thing about well, about the real Piggy Blinders. Mm. We'll get like a this oh, yeah. is what happened and like you have like lately, they yeah. like um, Killian Murphy explores the origins of the real Tricky Blind not Piggy Blinders Piggy Blinders Treaky Treacles yeah Treacle, Treacle Blinders the Treacle Blinders yeah totally like yeah I wouldn't be surprised you can, yeah. if you actually got like a real film based on the more documentary thing. You could get also a film based on the series. You could sort of like maybe mm. crescendo it because they're doing more Luther and they fucking they are. Are. they are. That's another one I want to watch. There's so all the big names I basically haven't got around to, but like I do genuinely want to watch them. Lucifer is another one. Man, yeah, let's yeah. talk <laughs> about, Lucy. about Lucifer. Sure, sure. <laughs> let's talk about little Lucy. Lucifer is fucking brilliant. I don't like. I don't get people that don't like it that ha- that hate on it for just like a real like a real passionate reason. It's like. If you don't like it, just don't watch it then. Like it's obviously based on the um, the run of comics by Neil Gaiman of the character Lucifer. He also gets a nice little cameo in uh, Christ on the Earth, like yeah. you know, on Earth six six six, which is ironically numbered. Yeah, no, it's good. It's because good. Constantine needs a token to get into the underworld. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and they're all buddies or something. Lucifer yeah. is the devil. Gets bored of running hell, so he takes a holiday to LA because where else? <laughs> and um, inhabits a human body, and Tom um, Ellis. Yeah, Tom Ellis, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And he's throw. He's um, obviously cast out by his father, God, um, who's voiced by Neil Gaiman in one of the seasons. So it's like, oh, that's a nice little thing. Mm. Do we get? Will we get a crossover with um, Good Omens? Who knows? <laughs> that would be nice. Is that even getting the second season? I don't think so because I think it's just based on the book. It's just one thing. It'd be nice if we did get more Good Omens, but I'm I'm happy with what we got. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tom Ellis is fantastic as Lucifer. 
like really good. That whole cast is amazing, and you know it becomes a police procedural thing. But then there's still an underlying story in it. We got part five of season one, and we'll get part two of season no part part one of season five, not part five of season one. Part one yeah. of season five, and then we'll get that later this year or beginning of next year. We get um, part two of season five, and then season six is the last one. Because I know season right. five was because they want to end it on six, do they? They want to end it. I on think six. they want yeah because they wanted to end it with this because obviously it was getting cancelled by um, wherever it was. was it like it was on Warner Bros, but it was on Prime, then it got cancelled. So that's why seasons one to three are on there, and then, Netflix and then seasons got, four mm. and five are on uh, Netflix, and season six I think is definitely the last one. Right, and there's been sort of difficulty. Um, Organising everything to plan, but it looks like that will be the last, last season, um, which fine by me, because um, it's a great show and I hope it ends well. And it's well cast, well written. It's a lot of fun. It evolves constantly, and it's it changes. Yeah, you think oh they're just setting up so it's basically a police procedural with, Luke, with uh, the devil, but then it's sort of there's more stuff ticking away, and it really delves into mythology and something like that, and things you know that they make more familiar to you by the way they um, stage them mm. well, yeah I season's this slight change topic to cut you off season 7 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is dropping soon on Disney Plus is that the last one yes it is didn't they just drop season 6 I know but 7 should we do all of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. shall we do all of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I mean I haven't even started it yet and I've watched um, two episodes Okay. I watched right. episode two and saw Nick Fury was in it and I was like, cool. And then I was like... That's it. <laughs> I've seen what I need to see. Yeah. I I, I can't properly judge that show because I would like... It's so fucking boring at the beginning, but then obviously you get you Ghost Rider and Inhumans and... You do. Um, links not... to the Kree and stuff like that. And it's... Yeah. I don't know. I like, I'd like to see the complete journey to get a real sense so I could get a handle on it, but just... I never had the time when it was on to just go, right, let me focus in on this. To people that stuck with it, fucking praise be. Yeah. Because I didn't have And if it actually girl. matters to the MCU, then, you know. Well, it did. It did. Good book, obviously. That's the thing with Marvel television Stuff. being a different thing to Marvel Studios. But now that it all comes under the Marvel Studios branch, it's obviously a it lot easier to keep an overhead yeah. on it. Whether it retroactively... Links. Still is a main point of it, or it is sort of shunted to the side, like in like Netflix. Don't know. We won't know. We'll watch the whole thing. We'll talk about it at least once, and then never again. I've got a feeling I like the Ghost Rider stuff. I think that's season four or five. Yeah, Robbie Ray is, isn't it? Yes, it's not. Um, and then you Johnny, know Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Yeah, that's yeah. it. No, heading to the Disney Plus in November. Yeah. Well, in. New Year, new agents of shield. Oh, no. However long it takes us to watch, then we'll both sort of first have two. Notes. The first two episodes will be dropping on November the thirteenth, which is a Friday, Friday the thirteenth, and then new episodes oh. dropping each Friday until they were on there. So it'll be like Mandalorian. We'll get a couple. Or the boys. We'll get a couple, and it'll be. Oh fuck! I might until the end of yeah. Agents of Shield because I'm not desperate to watch it one a week. No, no. I mean, I've got six seasons to watch, so you know we can. That will definitely last us. Oh yeah. Well, once. Season seven is completely out. Then we'll start it, and then come back at it a couple of weeks It'll later. It'll be like Game of Thrones. We'll talk about it like a season, and then we'll a do a f- big full it. fucking episode of this. Is what Age of Shield's about. If it's, um, any, if it's any good, I don't know. The Netflix show, like the Netflix shows, are great. They're yeah, ended they technically. Were. I actually started the first twenty minutes of Iron Fist season two, episode one. I did. Remember when I was doing that rewatch of all of them? And I, like, I thought, yeah, this is quite good. I didn't mind what I saw. Season two of Iron Fist is great. It's like, yeah. why end it there? Why cut the episodes down and why end it there? But um, yeah, I, I didn't mind what I saw. I kind of, like, I, I, in an odd way, I, I miss missed all of it. I missed it. I've missed all the Netflix shows because yeah. since Jessica Jones is like, well, they're all done. It's and it'd be nice if when the contract was like, we actually continued the show and they're all on Disney Plus on a more like. Um, Adult controlled content section of Disney Plus. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, like how um, you've got Netflix and then you've got like kids' Netflix. Maybe have Disney Plus be like that. Like, you can have one that's just like all the Pixar stuff and all the age appropriate 
films things. and that, and then you like once like um, your settings allow. You have you adult can... mode, and then yeah, you get yeah. You like, get like continuations of Punisher Dead. Well, that'd be really, it'd be really yeah. fucking nice to sort of continue those stories because there is so much more to tell with that whole universe and how it links in one after the other as almost as well as the fucking and how it's going to link up with what's going on currently with mm. the MCU going forward like at the time like you had that MCU going on and then you had the MCU Netflix stuff which done it just as well just on a smaller scale and yeah. it, was never, it was never bad no I fucking liked it no um what else what else what else um, I want to get into Westworld as well, but because I, I got about five or six episodes of the first season, I got kind of all right in it. I didn't finish season three this year. No, I was watching it. I was like, "This is great," and then it's just you like just stopped. Yeah, not for it's no just like fucking life. You like sometimes there's just so much brain power that when you've been at mm. work, you just like don't want to be like. And now to concentrate, you do you on really Aaron don't Paul. You really don't want to concentrate. Yeah. No one wants to concentrate on Aaron Paul unless they're watching Breaking Bad for the seventy fourth time. You do. You do. Well, he was great in the off like, from the bits I saw. It was like, I'm, I still love this show. I need to get into it. I do want to actually buy it on 4K, but also, I need to rest my fucking brain. Yeah. Like, Westworld is good. Yeah. Westworld is like the Game of Thrones. Like, it's always like, what's going to be the new Game of Thrones? It's like that. His Dark Materials as a sort of thing for that, because that's part HBO, part See, BBC. I, didn't that. I feel bad for not finishing it. Do you that. know what? It was good. I didn't finish it. It was decent. I really liked what I saw of it, too. It's all. I really Back on iPlayer because of season two drops end of the year, apparently oh. or soon because they keep saying because Ooh. they keep saying because like totally catch up with the first you know like when you get them personalized ads on like Twitter and shit it's like catch up yeah. with um his dark catch mater- it up on iPlayer yeah watch it, rewatch his dark material season one on iPlayer before season two drops. The subtle knife confirms the show's return to screens in November. Well, I think because you've got Daphne Keane like and you need to film all stuff with her before it's like wow she aged three years in two months. Yeah, okay, yeah. But that's going to be... So I look forward to that. I look forward to... I bought the trilogy of books. I haven't fucking read any of them. <laughs> You're the reading guy. I am the reading guy, yeah. I, I, honestly, I really you say like I fucking it. bought the X-Men trilogy. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bought the X-Men trilogy and I find that Wolverine's not in it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I find that Wolverine's not the polar bear. God, I need to 4K that. I need to 4K Back to the Future. My Game of Thrones comes the 2nd of November. Oh, so there's mine, yes. But the, it's the, in the pay packet before the fucking bonus, so it's like, well, the extra money I was spending on this doesn't exist yet, so I'm going to have to be a little bit poorer for four weeks. Yeah. That's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> totally I'm fine. Fucking not fine. Totally fine. Oh, um... Oh, yeah? Uh, can you think of any series before we get into sort of a... Oh, no, I, thought you, I thought you had some news. No, I have some news, but it's nothing to do with what we're TVs. talking about. TVs. Oh, okay. It's um, to do with TV, but not um, series like the, what we're doing now. Uh, Tell you what, I've you, today. if you've got, um, if we've Bye. not mentioned your favourite TV show, um, write yeah. it down in the comments or email in, no, but contact at gmail.com. Hey. <laughs> um, and get us a, let's get a discussion going and we can put some polls out like, what's the greatest series ever? Ever of all time because down we down do, to one name, you know, like we did the Pixar World Cup and the MCU World Cup. Should we do a, the what TV World greatest Cup TV series and we just put loads of things and then yeah, we'll, I'll put a we'll load just of throw K9 and Company in there because it counts. Oh, god, oh, god, K9. Oh, I'll just put a load of names and pretend as if I've watched them all, but oh, no, that's later down the line, ish. Eh? Later down um, the line, yeah, yeah, they've re- they've. Um, picked back up with the filming of um, special features for Doctor Who The Collection. Chris Chapman put on Twitter that um, back at it. Ooh, goody. What? In something along those words, so um, pictures of the cameras goody. and the setups and um, has spoken like about, um, I think it was Tom Baker, is like, um, like fortunate enough like, over, the la- like, over last year to film this with someone. I hope that at some point we get to um, be in the same room, albeit uh, socially distanced, if um, required. Again soon, yeah, so stuff like that. Because when so when they're going to do the behind the sofas, is it going to be them literally in their own houses? Well, apparently, their the, sofas apparently or? the first right. thing they filmed was a um, another one of the Doctor's table. Oh, good. But for what okay. season, eh? Yeah, what season? Yeah, um, what? season what you, one. We can do this thing again because we can speculate. I think they're going to season one. Because remember, <laughs> so it was like we have the budget to do three or four of these a year. Yeah, obviously this year's gone out of the pan, but um, because it ended up old. being twenty six and fourteen. It did, yeah, it was twenty tw- twenty six this year. 
12 it got pushed March, back from December yeah. to January, January didn't it we were in the world's better yeah and, and then, then we had 14 right at the beginning of the outbreak if you like yeah March April. because that's mm. when a lot of people had their orders cancelled or disrupted mm. and stuff like that unfortunately we didn't no. have ours which was nice and um blessed yes um re-release the ones for any person that was disrupted by anything because wasn't 12 the old did ones. 12 get re-released so I got reissued and then sold out and then <laughs> again the people require it again um it's bad uh it's um bad. Yeah, we what could do that thing where we speculate um season 17 <laughs> Because oh, that's easy, isn't it? Um, no, I think yeah, no. Um, season thirteen. Thirteen. Maybe the perfect way back in is yes. um, more is the golden years of yeah, Doctor just, Sarah Jane. And to fill gaps, to fill gaps. I don't mind. Ga- I don't mind gaps because as long as they're good seasons, because eventually they'll all join up. Thirteen and eleven, just thirteen and eleven. I don't know. Because then we have ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I mean, that's nice. There, that's the gold bit of Doctor Who. I think maybe twenty. Exactly, and then twenty one. Just because I want to see the cover badly, I want to mm. see two doctors on the cover. I wouldn't mind twenty two. Yes, yes. I think Colin is vastly underrated by his superiors. Um, twenty five. Remembers of the Daleks. You could really spin it on the twenty fifth anniversary thing. When was really good. when eighty eight? That was eighty eight. So eighty eight. Oh, I need to come out twenty eighteen because then it would have been. Yeah, 20, 10, 20 years, yeah. 20, 30, 40, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. 40? Wait, what are you 88? Oh, 30 years, sorry. I was say, hang Fucking on, had a stroke. Numbers. 40 and 20, yeah. 2028, sorry. Um, uh, so when did 14, uh, season 14, when was that airing? Like 70? 2023 they could do it because it would be the 35th anniversary of the 25th season. Oh, no, Five Doctors in um, 2020. I would say at the moment it's probably uh, 14, 20, and maybe 21, but I doubt it. Um, 13, 20, 21. I'm yeah. glad they didn't do the thing that we said, which was Tom, another Doctor, Tom, another Doctor. Then you would have had mm. each, a season of each Doctor and then Tom Baker complete. And it's like, right, now we've got rid of some of the best Longest. and worst of Doctor Who. Yeah, Let's now get can... into the finicky bits. Um, I yeah. wouldn't mind season eight. Sure. Because I think they'll hold off because of Spearhead's on film and that at a Blu-ray release, so maybe... And Seven's a really short season, it's only like four stories. That's going to be a really... But tiny they're all like seven episodes, aren't they? Yeah. Meaty content. They might spread the discs out, oh, I don't know. But they do have Inferno, and Inferno is fucking amazing. Mm. But season, season eight with the um, Dr. Martin, people fucking love the Delgado on that saga. whole rewatch yeah, of the Twitch. the saga, yeah. Um, or maybe we're overdue a classic um, black and white Doctor. Mm, but not Troughton. Give us Hartnell. Give no, us Hartnell. Hartnell needs more reconstructions first. He does. Ha- give Hartnell the next animation and Trout and the next uh, collection box. box yeah. Yeah. Sure. Just to see it's like... Because then, if that's how they want to do it, they can be like, right, so we know, like, we'll fucking animate them and then end up completing the season. Put them in the set. Putting them in there. Mm. But leave them as long as they can and so they can finish them or find them. Or find them, yeah. If. Give me the Horns of Nine on, in blue, on Blu-ray. <laughs> Oh, I'm good, thanks. I'm, I'm bloody great. I don't want that crap. If you hate the Horns of Narman as much as Connor, email us. No, we at gmail.com. Get in contact with us throughout the week uh, at Pacey Sheep across uh, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. Um, oh. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe and share and spread the word to all your friends that might Promote. like this unnecessary bollocks. Unnecessary um, bollocks. And if you're brand new here, thank you very much for joining us. We're so sorry for this waffly piece of... Televisual, <laughs> okay. Televisual <laughs> audio medium. Um, Connor. Yeah. Well, we've got hello. merch coming. Do we? Yes. T-shirt for you and the hats. People. For you, I bring it to you, the people. Oh. Um, t-shirts twelve pound, hats fifteen. We have uh, quantities coming in, so if you want your size, um, DM us on any of those social medias we just said. Um, and then we'll sort out payment and shipping, and hopefully this can help Thank us you. to fund the website, which then would be fucking automated as fucking super silky, and we'll get super, sil- a, super sm- milky, super super super, 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 super milky, milky smooth. smooth. When was the last <laughs> time we said that? <laughs> fucking <laughs> years ago. <laughs> that That's thing. a callback. That's you a can, t-shirt. <laughs> if you can tell us what episodes uh, Super Milky Smooth is from, you will get a signed <laughs> pasty sheep t-shirt. <laughs> 
And um, also... Um, Super milky smooth. Uh, no. Also, let us know down below if you like, are we going to clap and talk about the cunts t-shirt? Because I want that. <laughs> well, Carl Urban's face on it. Carl. If you're Carl Urban, or if you know Carl Urban... If you are Carl. Any Carl Urban fan accounts out there. Or the guy from Manifest who looks like Carl Urban. Yeah. But until next time... Um, this has been a bunch of cunts talking and... Uh, Please, man, we've said it so much. <laughs> It's like the gentleman when they say it every other word. I was like, whoa. My favourite joke in that movie. All right, for hug, calm the for hug yeah, down. For hug down, yeah. Fuck. I've only just seen it myself. Colin Farrell's great in that movie. Bye. <laughs> Adios. Stay hasty, you can't. <laughs> Have a fun time editing. Thank you.